Hello? Ah, okay. Uh, hello. Welcome. Um, normally I would greet you to another stream of mine. Uh, hello, by the way. Welcome. Uh, currently I am experiencing technical difficulties with the game Call of Juarez. I don't know why, but it just doesn't want to uh, 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 boot, to boot up, start, you know. Uh, why? It's just not starting for some reason. Um, hmm. Morning, mate. Hello, Parrocat. Welcome back. Uh, at least someone, hello, how are you doing today? I noticed, by the way, uh, that you were streaming yesterday. Uh, sadly, it was too late for me. I was still awake, but I was busy with work. For example, archiving uh, streams and modeling stuff and preparing stuff for today, uh, which I can show, by the way. Good, just woke up. Oh! GG, nice life. Um, yeah, as you might know, uh, today, Call of Juarez Ganslinger, normally, if the game would start finally, because yeah, fine, 100% cloud stuff, but I want the game to start. Thank you, Steam. Um, yeah, technical difficulties for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe let me mention it with the help of a text. Uh... Okay. Technical difficult game won't start. Set smiley, yes, perfect. Uh oh wait, I forgot something. Please stand by. Perfect. Now. Uh, hmm. I never experienced something like that before. Normally everything works, but why not now? Can I, wait, can I start a different game? Just, just to be sure. Blah, ah. Okay, no, that, that one starts immediately. The game from last time. Okay, strange. Um, But why? Okay, uh, I hope everything will work in a few minutes. Um, until then, until then, uh, let me show you what I prepared for today, okay? So let me quick disappear for a few seconds. Bloop. Hello. Goodbye. And perfect, that should work. Now, are you ready, kids? I, I, Captain. 
No? I'll take it as a yes. Tada! Howdy, partner! <laughs> um, hello, I am prepared and stuff, but. Hmm. The game won't start for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe I should turn off Steam Cloud synchronization. Synchronization. Ah. Maybe in the meantime I should play some music in the background. That would be a good idea, I believe. Um. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. Oh, 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 wait. One question. Is the entertainer uh, copyrighted? Wait. Let me Google it real quick. Is that Okay. It says yes, okay. At least this video here. Okay. So, have some music. Yes, so, um... Enjoy the music. Meanwhile, I try to fix the game finally. Um, I really don't like that. Now that is turned off. And can I start? Wow. Why isn't it working? Okay, it doesn't do anything. Strange. Come on, don't leave me hanging, bro. Cowboy. Not now. Not while I'm streaming. Come on, I I, 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 I paid for the game. Maybe something is broken? Wait. Local... Yes, please check for errors. Errors. Maybe there is something wrong with a file or something, I don't know. I'll have Steam check it. For a moment. So please bear with me. Um, 
Normally this doesn't happen. Today is the 31th stream. And only now something unplanned is happening. As much as I can remember. Well, okay. It has been successfully... Wow, 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 this is music. Hey. Ah, oh, thank you, advertisement. I don't need you now. Perfect. Now. Hmm. Successfully checked. Okay, now can I start the game? Ah, what is that? Hello. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe I'm supposed to start Steam as an admin. Like, uh, like, 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 uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Oh, wait, maybe. Wait, 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 wait. It's still loading. Oh. Is it starting? No. Okay, let's wait a few seconds. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Maybe I should start Steam as, as an admin for some reason. Okay. The thing is, I already uh, restarted my computer in case something happened. You know, but apparently nothing. Okay, now. Uh, as administrator, yes. Yada. Mm -hmm. Now, call of Forest, maybe? Do you want to? Please, thank you. No! Why? Why? No! Not even now? Why are you starting? What is the problem? Just currently. Why is the game not starting? Okay, I got another idea. I got another idea. Uh, check again. Something to do with the thingy. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute what I mean. Thank you. Successfully checked. Yes, what's, yes, please, what's that? Direct X June 2010. I really need that. Okay, it's loading. Okay. 
maybe I was supposed to... St oh, progress. And maybe I was supposed to start... St oh, no. Steam as the admin and then start the game. What is your problem? Why, why are you just synchronizing the game? Come on. What is the problem? I should maybe change the music so I don't have to uh, start it all over again. the entertainer. Ich stehe am Flughafen. Bruh. Why? Advertisement, I don't need you now. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for the inconveniences. I expect technical difficulties sadly I don't know what else could I try I could try to google Welcome to Let's Play Troubleshooting. Uh, okay. Um, oh, by the way, is it raining where you live? Because today it it, uh, it was a storm outside. Can't launch the game at all if you can't put the game. It's mostly because it's supposed to be 10 cores from what I've heard on it. Yes, it feels a brief to be bogus, but for whatever reason it worked for me, so I figured it. Okay, okay. Apparently, my computer is literally too strong. Um, okay, interesting. I 
doesn't make much sense. Oh no, it's just too powerful. Better crash. Yeah, why? Yeah, I found myself playing a game in my backlog since I find it convenient. I always have to lower my affinity cost. Back to all of them after playing it. Okay, work with. Uh, okay, I think I I got it. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Apparently, I have to to throttle a little bit my PC power to start the game, which is is very strange. But okay, okay. Um, right. Yes. Okay, that's it. Admin. Okay, it appears I have to maybe pause the stream for a little bit. Um, oh, wait. Maybe. Wait a second. Maybe I don't have to change the user. Wait, 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 wait. expecting what I was expecting. Oh, I like the name. Where do I change the admin rights again? <sighs> Chaos. Okay. People of the internet. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm afraid I have to. Uh, change the user profile because uh, I have my admin user separately. Uh, um, or wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, wait. Maybe in two minutes, okay? Maybe in two minutes. Goodbye. Oh, I'm still online. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, did it work? I hope. Um. Can I start it now? I can. It worked. Oh my god. Okay. Change the music. Stop. Uh. Oh my god. It worked. Nice, indeed. Ah, Gamma. Yes. Okay, that is crazy. Okay, to all people in the future, if you see this mess. <clears throat> wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I got some. Wait, 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 wait. I got something for that. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, one second, one second. Uh, voice changer, one, se one second. people in the future who see this message if you want to play call of war as gunslinger and it won't start the problem may be that you have a too powerful computer for that you'll have to uh, deactivate all the cores except 10 uh, more detailed instructions are available in the internet. 
Not now. So, I hope that wasn't too loud. Test, test, test. <laughs> so, um, yes, back to the game. Also, uh, good to know that you can change the user while streaming, so you don't have to uh, pause the stream and stuff. I don't need you. I don't need that. Now I have a lot of windows open. Uh, okay. Good. Now let's start with with the topic of today. Peng peng pew pew. Uh, gamma? Oh, it's in German. Uh, wait, you know what? Let's show the game anyway. Oh. Hello? Game? O OBS? Not you too? Please? Where's the game? Oh, I am inside the void. Oh no. Uh, again, technical difficulties. What is the problem now? Yes, please. Everything should be fine. Strange. Okay. Uh, gamma. Okay. Ah. Right. At least you have music, but where is where is the game? Okay, um OBS, hello. Why do I have so oh maybe it is not the game but it is a window. Ah that could be it. What the hell? Uh It's not a window. Um. Okay. Okay, we got the game to start, but now we have another problem. Um, OBS won't show the game. <sighs> but why is it bla uh, black? Wait a second. What was that? Did I throw something up there? No? No. Okay. <sighs> what? Ah, that was that. Okay. Nope. Okay, that doesn't work for some... Or maybe I... How about now? OBS? Do you work? Please? OBS? No? Ah! Well, I guess not everything can work every day. 
perfectly. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. Fine. A uh, window recording. Can you? You don't see the game. Okay, maybe. I'm afraid I'll have to use that. One second. Okay. Hello. Let's try that. No! It was there! It was there for a sec. Yes! Okay, that worked. Now, um. I, I'll have to. fix another issue. Perfect. Yes, now we can start finally. I just don't, don't. I just shouldn't forget that you can see now everything. Hello, hoo hoo. Hello, world. How are you doing today? So. Ah. Oh. Hello. Ah. Finally, people of the internet. Uh, welcome to our second day on our second topic week. Uh. The topic of this week is Peng Peng Game Suite. Yes, thank you, Parakids. Ah, finally. Sorry for 38 minutes uh, troubleshooting. I didn't expect such issues to arise, but I guess uh, you can't expect everything beforehand. So, um, howdy. Am I looking all right? I think. Um, yes, currently it is German. For now, let me change it for you. Uh, aha! Ah. Okay! English subtitles or German subtitles? What do you want? Or German subtitles, what do you want? I, I I plan to play the game in English, of course. English subtitles? Okay. Now, where do I change the language? Okay. Right. Ah. Okay, I, I see. Okay, uh, one moment. <laughs> I'll have to probably change the subtitles in, in the Steam uh, options. Uh, subtitles, the language, sorry, the language. Uh, language, English. Good. I I think all games should uh, have the option to change the language in game. You know? Oh, what's that? Anyway, so that is that. Oh, Ubisoft. Hello. Uh, and hello. Welcome back. Finally, finally we can start. So, uh, play game, story, arcade tools. The sensitivity seems to be alright. Okay. Oh, I like the interactive menu in 
Sites of Salu. So yeah, um, welcome to Call of U.S. Yeehaw! As you can see, I got myself a few new assets for my avatar, uh, the head and uh, the scarf. The textures for the scarf. <coughs> I meant at you. Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Um. Unexpected things are happening. Uh, the textures for the scarf. I made them myself to uh, match uh, more the poncho of the protagonist of the game. We will play, of course, normal. Uh, with normal difficulty. Oh. Okay. Abilene, Kansas, 1910. Is the music too loud? The bandana? Yes! The bandana! What is that? Yes, I mean the bandana. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would oh. be my honor to drink it. Wait. I'm Molly. Howdy. Oh. I'm Dwight. Wait. Eh? I need to fix a few things. Eh, is it okay? Is it it's okay? Nice. A few. What wait, about your shootout? Uh, wait, let's start again. So we don't miss anything. Sorry, I just uh, noticed that I was covering the subtitles. Uh huh. Ubisoft, yo. Konnichiwa. Techland and Chrome Engine 5. Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Yeehaw, baby! <clears throat> Let's pretend nothing happened. Abby Lee in Kansas, 1910. Is the music too loud? Wow! What is that? It makes noises. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I I'm Dwight. That's Jack and, and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell.
Yeah, hell deep hell. Yeah, welcome to the wild, wild west. Hell yeah. Randy, once upon a time in stinking springs. Okay, uh, another thing, just a little bit of optimization. Um, because I'm a little perfectionist. Uh, let's do that. Now, is that okay? Wait, it's... Wait, wait, wait... Uh... Can you still see it? I don't know. My OBS is a little bit... Yes, okay. Or rather, you can't. Haha. <laughs> Howdy. Maybe also one more thing I should maybe make myself a little bit smaller so I don't obstruct uh, the subtitles. Wait. Yeah. Nice. So. Uh, that should be fine, partner. Howdy. <coughs> But apparently, I am not perfect enough. Damn it! I didn't saw that. Ah, oops. Uh. Uh. Now. God damn it! This game is troubling. And yes, perfect. Press enter to start. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, oh lol, I can move. Oh, lol. Oh, God, the sensitivity. What is the sensitivity? Oh my god. Okay, I am the movie, apparently. Healthy. Can I turn back? Just out of curiosity? No. You're just trying away from the story. The current objective? Did nothing happened. It's not a zero, it's an O. Ah, okay. It was about 30 oh. years ago. It restarts the uh, whole. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because Fine. the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Hey, I'm so down. Huh. So we are apparently playing an interactive story. Don't like the sensitivity. Uh, uh, help and options, yes. Controls. Uh, more sensitivity. Okay. Ah, much better. I think. I 
can't split. I may even go inside right Oh, objective. I just did that. Ah, I have to. Ah, I see. Aha. Wait. What are my graphic options? I for noise. Everything is high quality. Uh, also, I should maybe do that. Sorry, I had to do something. Uh, without with only ten cores. Uh, the energy is getting hot, if that makes sense. Now I have to get in. Oh! You heard Pat. You need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. Huh. I had no choice. I had no choice, partner. Maybe, maybe I can talk. How they? Who's that? Is he with us? Yes, I heard. I am a great shot. You earn ex <clears throat> you earn experience by killing enemies. You need it for leveling up and gaining extra abilities. Press ways to continue. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Ah, I can shoot them. They're coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Ow! How did he even... How did you shoot? We have one behind us! Stay on it! Ow! As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Uh, ow! Ow! Where'd he come from? Oh, nice heads! Ow, where is that to be? Pew! Aha! Ow! Uh, is that this medium or normal? Ah, uh, you. Ow. Okay. I I'm not used to getting hits. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Damn you! Damn you! How deep? I'll put you up. Have the... You are very calm. There are secrets. Ah, you, you are. Oh, you just you've just leveled up with you to open skills menu. You like open a uh, you open okay. Level two. You have one skill point to spend here now. Select any of the three skill categories and then purchase its left most skill. 
ganze Menge Dual Wielding Desperado, Ranger Long Distance Sharpshooter und Trapper Close Quarters Fighter. Ist denn der Shotgun? Set das a Rifle? No, set. Oh, set is a Remington, I believe. Those are two revolvers. What is that? Is that a double barrel? And that... No. That is probably a sort of... What is that? I don't know, but I... Waste Ranger. A great ivory handled quick shooter. What we have here... Inside six shooter. Long range. Sniper. I could use I could use a, 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 a scope. Golden rifle. Oh wow. Uh, silver shot. It is a shotgun. I knew it. And it is a sort of I knew it. But I don't want to use shotguns. I'm German. I don't shotgun people. I like the sharpshooter. It's like a, like a Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 online. I think I have... I have a rifle and I have my Navy revolver, I think. Was it the Navy revolver? I don't know. Yes, I, I think it was a Navy revolver in Red Dead Redemption. So maybe... Hmm. What, what, what should we level? Um, dual wielding Desperado Chacho or Long Distance Sharpshooter? What gun is that? That is Inline 6 Shooter. That is Ivory Handled Quick Shooter. Waved Ranger. A keep to gunslinger, dual wield revolvers, grab two revolvers, give them hell. When you carry a revolver, you can press wheel up or three to dual wields. I would say Ranger. Okay, okay. But I also like Ratatatata. Hmm, personally don't like dual wielding guns. Okay. I I would sight slow down time, take your time in aiming when you aim at all. For one-handed weapon you will get a fracture of concentration rate. Okay, you know what? Let's go as a ranger. Let's become multiversal. Multi-uni multi-universal. What's that by the way? Upgrade inline six shooter. It's not just pretty but an engineering masterpiece and a very deadly firearm. The simplified trigger mechanism and longer barrel provide for a faster head of fire and better handling. Ooh, hello. Slow yes. Like uh dead shots. Or however the time ability was called in Dead Eye, Dead Eye. Like Dead Eye. Yes! Very car, eagle and stuff. Erroneischer Freigeschalt, immer dabei bleiben. Ah, so nice. What else? What's that? Two seeking. I'll look into it later. Now, is that? Everything? Okay, that's it. Points available, zero. Okay. Okay. Ah! Chickens with their heads Let's cut off. Some bitches running. All you can do is curse. All I can do is shoot and hit. We are. Hello, pumpkin. Well, ow, ow. Where? Where are you? Ow. I'm done with you. Aha! That was bad. Ow! Maybe 
weird stretcher. Maybe it's just me or... Or the aim is not perfect. You know, I feel like he... I have to aim a little bit down to, to actually hit. Still, one of them oh. the water tower. You can avoid lethal shots only when you not send a bad off. idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Okay. You can avoid lethal shots only when your sense of death is fully charged. Ah. Press space to continue. Avoid the bullet using A to dodge left or D to dodge right. Good thing we leveled uh, a slow time, right? Now I can count the pixels on my screen. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. He can't take us all on. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> but where was I? Oh yeah. Adult <laughs> jokes. Funny. <laughs> Six shooter or ranger? What is the difference? Do I see how much how much damage my gun does? Kill him! Ow! Okay, you know what? Let's swap the the, the gun just now. Hey, that's enough. Oh, I like. Oh, no. Okay, I like that. I like the aim of this gun. What are you, yellow? Okay, I like the sound. It sounds like a little head cannon. Yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's the range of the run of everything. Z2. You ain't going nowhere. Level. Okay, I see. Set. Oops. Set. Let's keep the range for now. Find your way to the rear entrance of the farmhouse. Ah. Then I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back, back door! door. We we'll you. cover you. Uh. Aiming, you idiots. Truth be told, He's things weren't much better behind the house. Watch your flank! How did I miss? Cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Maybe I should put the gamma a little bit up. Not game. Come on. Come on. I can't. Controls. Game. Come on. Uh, uh oh. Video. Come on! Oh, thank God. Video. Oh, God. It's. Where did he come from? Is it. Is it. Uh, is this good or. Is it. 
Shiny. Ow. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. Is the gamma okay? Or is it too too bright? That was the words. Too bright. Or should I make it darker a little bit? Oh I like how the how the cowboy is sitting uh, is sitting on top of my my bar. Anyway. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Oh, that's a letter. inside every level. Can I? I can't, okay. So let's just go with And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. Ah, oh, hello. Something else here? No, should you I close the door? I passed a dirty day. How about that? Huh? You like oh, that? And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Boldly. Do you need help? Ah, he's shooting. There's no one. Okay. Oh, hello. Take the switch. Show nuggets menu. Oh. Stinking Springs. Pat Garrett was relentless in his pursuit of Billy the Kid and his gang. Garrett and his posse, posse tracked them to a deserted stone farmhouse in Stinking Springs and surrounded the building. Keeping Billy company was a colorful collection of desperados. Among them were Tom Pickett, Billy Wilson, Charlie Bowtree and Dirty Dave. Rutabog. Rutabog crossed paths with such legends as Dave Mesa, Bad Masterson, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holiday and died in a rather unsavory manner as he was shot and then in, uh, decapitated by a Mexican machete in 1886. How the hell did he get, did he got shot by a machete? Wow. Charlie Baudry, who probably killed Buckshot Robbers in the Blazers' will gunfight, did not survive the siege of St uh, at Stinking Springs as a bullet hit him in the chest while he was passing a window. The others surrendered on the following day. December 23, 1880, after Dirty Dave ho hoisted a white flag. The captured criminals were transported to Santa Fe while Billy was taken to Basilla where he was sentenced to death by hanging. He was then moved to Lincoln. New Mexico to avoid execution. It never happened, however, as the kill pulled as the kid pulled off a spectacular shape. Jailbreak. Healthy. Ah Is that in game law or is that real life history fact? Lincoln County War. Oh, welcome to History Channel. The Lincoln County War is often considered one of the most famous examples of a range war in the history of the West. Range wars were conflicts over the control of open range or range land freely used for cattle grazing. The disputes were usually over grazing 
over grazing or water rights, but in this case the fight was over the control of the dry of the dry goods trade in Lincoln County. The gravel rose around a conflict of interest between the Dolan Murphy faction and a newly arrived Englishman, John Tunstall. At first they tried to use the legal system to resolve their dispute, but soon Soon the fight evolved into a conflict between armed gangs. Murphy and Dolan had ties to outlaws like John Kinney and his gang and Jesse Evans, whose outfit was known as The Boys. Okay. They were responsible for the death of Tunstall, which became the central catalyst of the conflict. The other side had the regu regulators. William Bowney, aka Billy the Kid, rode with them. Promising revenge on the man who murdered Tunstall. Both sides were sworn in by different officers of the law, so technically they were all acting within the law. After the regulators were defeated, some of the members became fugitives and, just like Billy the Kid, met untimely and violent ends. Wait, is that a real? Real photo? Picture? Oh, look at that. It looks real. Maybe it is staged, but nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, pain, pain, pew, pew. Ah. Shot 21 tip by age 21 smart as a whip. Billy the kids. Yeah. How do you Billy yeah. looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. You Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Oh, That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted oh. Billy. Get to oh. the other side. What's that? The same right? Wait, give me a munition. Oh, don't. Show yourself, coward. Boy. Where do you go? Da 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 da. Bam. Ah. Please continue. Please. 
Call me Silas. Now, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Yes, thank you. John, or whatever your name is. I caught you, boy! Yes. Ah, that's how I mean it. How do I change the... Ah. By... Moving the mouse wheel down. Making my way past the pass Boy, what the hell is that? Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Ah. Oh. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. I am catching a lot of pits. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. When something happens, what? And that's when I met Sheriff uh, Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Pet Garrett's. Okay. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Oh. Oh, keep using. Uh, keep your enemy in focus using mouse. It's best to continue. Okay. What? Okay. Am I supposed to kill him or something? Or shoot his hand? When your opponent reaches for their gun, press left mouse click to draw your weapon. Aim with mouse and then shoot with left mouse button. Also, okay. Oh. Oops. Oops. Your focus is 75.8% and your reaction time was Okay, watch your enemy's head closely. Oops! I am still a trainee, sorry. Oh, don't scare me like that, yo. Killed him in okay. a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy, that ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn okay. stables. Okay, I have to level up. Faster scan, faster aiming, pick your targets faster, your speed of aiming, any weapon will be displayed. Oh, I can't. Okay. Ah, do I have two ways? Or can I take both ways? Hits about nuggets of strumos. Don't miss any important details, additional sounds and hints. Uh, additional sounds and hints will lead 
you to the hidden nuggets of the truth. Provided you get close enough, this means more experience for you. Deep pockets, Rage and Wiser ammo capacity increased. Carry even more of these deadly rifle rounds. You, re you receive 100% plus 100% capacity for rifle ammo. Let's go with more. More, more experience. More ammo. Let's check, yes. Can I that? Then afterwards, can I still buy the yes, I think. Nice, okay. We stepped inside and BAM! Ow. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. Oh, oh. All right. Web of choice rifle, a word of choice headshot. Nice. No pass, what happens if you hit the chicken? Oh, hello, Playmo Pass. Welcome to my stream. Um, good question. I didn't thought about it. Welcome, how was your week until now? I hope you had a wonderful weekend and stuff. Thank you for joining me and welcome to our second day of the topic week. Of our second topic week and the topic of this week is Peng Peng Games. Today with Call of Who as Gunslinger and as you can see, how I am uh, fittingly dressed. So, skills. Ah. Okay. Primo. Oh! Uh, hello! Uh, hello, my darling! Hello, da da da. Oh! Wait, wait, wait! Hello! Thank you! Uh, now I don't. Wait. Uh, I have to read the name quick. Uh, excuse uh, uh, this is tough. Oh, uh, Cosi Stoister 45. Thank you, Cosi Stoister 45, for becoming my 14th follower. Wait, wait, a second 14th follower? You should be the 15th. But Technically, if I counted right. What? That is strange, but thank you! Uh, thank you, Cosy Stoister45. Uh, let me. Let me. Uh, let me. Note that you will go into the hall of the first. Thank you very much. Chat, welcome him! Uh, welcome to, to my stream. Thank you for appearing. Oh. Where is the hall? Yes. Welcome to the hall of the first. I'm happy to, you, uh, to have you here. Thank you. Cosy Stoister, yes. Cosy Stoister forty five, thank you, thank you. You are now part of the Hall of the First, thank you very much. You are now noted forever and eternity. Uh, oops, I forget two letters. This twister. Thank you for joining me in my theme of Gunslinger. Welcome. We are a 
nice community at the moment and I hope it will stay like that so welcome into the wild west let's restart the mission and uh, try what the chickens will do because Playmo Puzzle oh because Playmo Puzzle was uh, 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 asking Good question, it was about way. 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Spring. Ha! Ah, I forgot. Now. Yes, perfect. You've been awarded the experience for collecting nuggets of truth. I wonder if you will get I that bounty on your head. Kid because the man I had sworn Engage. vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. I have another level up menu skills. You have one skill point. Oh, your son of a bitch. Okay. Let's do everything again. To stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Is he with us? Twice. Ah! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Will. They're coming from the rear! Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. Hey, we have one behind us! They own it! Over fire! As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, Ow. Someone shoot that bastard! 
lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. I, I can't do this. You think? Ow. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. That's the easy to and we'll cover you. Try aiming, you idiots. Truth be told, Did things weren't much better behind the house. <laughs> Cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. <laughs> they made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. So yeah, Clevo is you shoot chickens, you get uh, meat and experience. Just so you know. And like that, You'll I was inside. Dead, you None the worse for wear. I passed the dirty days. No Apparently, no. And upstairs, I found Billy track. and Charlie Baudry. Charles experience. So, just let the chickens in the fight. Yes. Help me. By the way, is the game too loud? Should I make it quieter? Billy okay? looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I can keep this up all day. I think I got one. Oh, they got you. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw the Ow. Ow. Okay. That order I understand that they have a nice day. Thought, Why the hell do I have to do it? Are done. Many of them fled in my fight. But I had that false sense of invincibility oh, that many young men you. have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please call uh, me silent. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the bar. That's why I didn't saw him last time. Okay. I'm gonna cut you, boy! I'm gonna punch you, girl. 
Just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. Ah, this is it's in the night. It's a bit. Hey. Oh, another level up. Nice. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Now, ten some and ten handed pet carrots. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Is that what that oh, okay. Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. I... So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. I ain't for this guy. But... I stepped inside, and bam! Okay. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. Pet Garrett, one that have three kills. Nice. Do I have skills? Yes and no. Continue. So, Plemopas, there you have your answer. So what experience. happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to. Bastard had clocked me with his coat. Episode 1. Coat. What? And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. A fistful of hot lead. After sticking spring spirits kit in Silas Greaves ended up in jail, they remained there until spring. Ah. Okay, smashing enter before the level was loaded was considered dishonorable behavior in the old west. Smashing enter before the level was loaded, okay. Let's start. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. My 
my first order of business was finding a firearm. Nice hands. You need some kids. Oh, that is that is a, a, an actual picture of him. William Henry McCarty, also known as William H. Bonnie, Kit Edgeville, or Billy the Kid, was probably born between 1959 and 1861. He died of July on July 14, 1889, shot by the sheriff Pat Garrett in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. To this day, he remains one of the Wild West's most recognizable outlaws. Uh, one question. Do you want me to read... Uh, history cards, or should I just collect them and move on with the action gameplay? Chat. What do you want? First information later. Okay. Ah, okay. I should put out the fire. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. I guess I'm going to use ten gold white now hunter. I cut the man clean in half. Bob Ollinger's shotgun. Wow! Even even the new weapons get an introduction. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Lord. Anybody see Billy? Ow. Hell yeah. That scatter gun was like a double barreled howitzer. They could blow a man clear off his headshots. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. The kids escaped raised a huge ruckus. Don't I have the gun? I do now I have the gun. Okay. We're everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Oh my God. Anybody see him? Uh -huh. Ow. I'm going to make you pay for that. Are you up? Jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could. Ow, man. Some of that wood was slippery as hell. Whole town was up in arms. How did they miss? I was a fugitive. Help the kid escape. Garrett's gonna kick our ass. Better hide. Can't have gotten far. Gotta be around here somewhere. Kill him already. Hey, thank you. Ow. I have the right to defend myself. I am out of ammo. I should probably run. Violence is not the answer. You tell them that, lady. 
Yeah, now. Ah! What? Sh shotgun is ideal in close combat situations. Okay. Wow. Maybe you should have told me that. Okay. Okay, this is Level up. Okay. Uh, fast rifle reload. Reload your rifle in the blink of an eye. Inserting the cartridges from the bottom of your rifle can cut down the reload time up to 50%. What? Okay, why not? So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I Why? tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. Why was I looking at this? This have a moment's peace. All I can, I, I hear people, but I don't see them. Am I going the right way? Now I am. Uh... Oh. Ah, my XP. You. Me. But hell, if they weren't all waiting for me. Hell. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. You hooligans can go to hell. Hooligans. Let's use the shotgun if I have it. That's it. Ow. Similarity in build and coloring. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Mean ass shotgun. by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. How I knew I needed hell? to find a horse. How the hell is Though that? I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. How Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. Give it up. We prize them too high, if you ask me. How Get the hell is that piece of close bullet? Oh. 
now I am safe. I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, wait, is that just an enemy? I thought that was Billy. How do I this with a shotgun? Why? Why aiming? You're threatening the lives of innocent people. when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. Okay, let's take the right. The shotgun is funny, but I am sure. decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. And I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a flash on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. Headshot? He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play. Ow! How the hell did he get away? We're gonna be in deep shit when I get back. Ow! Don't let him get away! I wish I could lean outside of cover. Surrender yourself! Aha, bitch. Ah, 
I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob, I said. I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. I don't have it anymore. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Just your hand position using A, D, or for a faster draw. Oh, press space to continue. Lol, it's like a minigame with two eyes. When you, when you hear the heartbeat, you can draw your gun first, but this will be noted as a dishonorable act and squad accordingly. I killed him okay. in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. That Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. Okay. Yes. Yeah, what is that? Quick fingers, reload rate increase by smashing handle. Wait, what? Reload rate increase by smashing handle. By smash. What? By what? Wait. Reload rate increase by smashing. Handle your bullets with care. Ah, okay. The load rate increased by smashing. Handle your bullets with care. Smash are like local doing the reload sequence to insert rounds faster. The top, uh, the top rank reload mechanisms don't use the skill. Aim additional zoom while aiming. Hold your press and be more precise. You will be able to zoom even more when aiming steadily and focusing on a single target for a while. A new legendary weapon unlocked. Inline 6 shooter. It's not just pretty, but an engineering masterpiece and a very deadly firearm. The simplified trigger mechanism and longer barrel provide for a faster rate of fire and better handling. Says kills continue. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. So two the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clan himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Those boys? Boy. A bullet for the old man. The cowboys were a huge outlaw gang led by old man Clan. Curly Bill and John Jerenko were two of his most deadly muchachos, maybe. I don't know. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for Old Man Clown. Wow! Where's he let's, going? Let's go with this guy. For a I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! there! I 
dared Mobcats to help those poor passengers. Ow. Moments later, the attackers were dead. Nice. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often did. They were hey, hearing what? great numbers from above and rained down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in okay. a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming oh, no, enemy force. Ow. Nice. See, at the time, I was still pretty green and would often blunder into regrettable situations. Hey, but oh. I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. Ow. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was the He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. I'm not hitting anything. To get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to fight my way past these other assholes first. Away. Okay, you know what? Let's take the right. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Oh, my ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Oh, but bam. Finally, they managed to corner me. Ow. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Ow. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Ow, what the hell? Okay, I am out of the wolf. I ran ahead, as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. No, what? Oh, come on. kept running like there was no tomorrow. Ow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking, going up against a gang like this? Okay. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Uh, like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. Okay. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson what? once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know.
And imagine my surprise when I found a fist full of dynamite to go along with that ammo. Okay. Press 4 to select dynamite and press G to fast. Okay. That stroke of good fortune even the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right. Jesus, we did it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. Son of a bitch. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. I hate this shit. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. I think he's scared. Oh, Frankie can take this. Mean as hell, old man can. Where did you got some get thing? I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Clinton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. Where is he? I needed to get that old man off that gun. Okay, blood armor apparently. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Nice. Oh, Nuggets of Truth, zero out of three. I hope that is not a problem. 
skills. What have I got? One more point. Faster scan, faster aiming, pick your targets faster. The speed of aiming. Yeah, maybe I have done some quests. Hello! Welcome back. Um, quests. Uh, not really. It is a story, a linear story based game today. Uh, welcome. Welcome back to our second day of our second topic week. And the topic week. The topic of the week is Pew Pew Games. And today we are playing Call of Juarez Gunslinger. And I just passed the, uh, uh, the third mission. Hello, welcome. I hope you had a wonderful week until now. Pico targets faster. Your speed of aiming and your weapon will be increased by 30%. As you can see, I am uh, dressed fittingly to the main character's appearance. How? Okay, cool head you use. Thank you. For the gunfight it's the sawmill, the jury is behind Silas' pursuit of the cowboys was money, but for revenge on one of his arc enemies, Johnny Ringo. Let's start. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. I need more rifles. Maybe the sensitivity is still a little bit too high. Uh yes, control, small sensitivity. Ah, now I should be much more precise when I So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. Kill that stupid son of a bitch! So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. What the hell is your aim? What the hell is my aim? Oh. Okay. Show yourself, coward! Finally, thank you. Let's just do this! Hey. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Oh! I am aiming for headshots. Nice. 
Am I going to a grave? Yes, I am. Ah. Oh. There were killers oh. around oh. every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. Oh, yeah. I didn't kill anyone. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a man's boy. Oh. Doc Holliday might have taken him. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. Ow, come on, he was just me. being loyal to a friend. Let me look at the weapon. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clinton died, why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. It does not look easy and it, uh, not easy to see the enemies. Yes, uh, I am playing on normal. There was an option normal and did, uh, 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 more than normal. Uh, but yes, enemies in this game actually have aim. No. And I seem to have a bullet vest or something. Oh, hello. Hi. Cowboy gang single handed. Indeed, I was, Jack. I can't hit people if they are running. It wasn't easy as those boys had good cover.
Come on. I don't know what. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Give me bullets. No shit, Sherlock. And I'm gonna kill you until you die. Boy, you are shit out of luck. Can you get around the corner? Okay. Ow. Does your door help against dynamite? Nope, it does not. There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. My God. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Bill, did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Should I use the double barrel? So I showed it at least. Maybe I should Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Oh, that's it. Oh. Take the shots. Before he takes the shots. Curly Bill. Oh. That I whiskey. Are you Curly saying Bill. they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. Why did no, I... sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Time to dance with the devil. I'm putting you down. Got it. That some bitch hurt send you to kill me. Come on out, son. He's wearing a vest. No one kills Curly Bill. Oh. Oh. I got the shotgun. Why? Now I feel like I'm big. Or something. That's the 
Ребятка. Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 I got my revolver. No, it's the shotgun. I got the shotgun. Okay. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Ah. Concentrate left and right. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Okay. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Thanks of Okay. Yes. Then you have additional while aiming, hold your press and be more precise. You will be able to zoom even more when aiming steadily and focusing on a single target for a while. Okay. Nice. Back. Continue. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Episode 3, The Innocence. Oh, 
Now, wasn't I want he the, the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Why called the Innocents? Killing Johnny Ringo closed the first chapter of Silas Saga of Revenge and started him on a bloody career as a bounty hunter. The magnificent one. Ah, yes. There were rumors that Butch, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid didn't actually die in South America. Some claimed they returned to the States and settled in, in Utah. Okay. So, that was the double barrel shotgun. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Yes, I got the bullets. Plumber wow. rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. Head boss smoking. Nope. Oh, it... oh, by the way, uh, Jim, maybe it was raining today in Germany. No, storming even. Uh, was it storming in Denmark today too? Like in the middle of the day? Or maybe earlier, I don't know. Depending on from where the weather came. Standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Uh, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. It was an accident. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, up. God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. Ah. <laughs> okay. What is that? Ranger, yes, please. I like this gun more. Thank you. dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. I got this somewhere nearby. Oh, physics. What is that? Explosives. Do we have fear? Yes, the, the Ranger. Yeah, must okay. Hmm. What happens if I accidentally sneeze? What happens if I accidentally sneeze again? Uh -huh. I like. It 
it was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. You can shoot dynamite in the air and press left mouse button to shoot. Oh. How did I miss? There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold ships. Those who ran with Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Ow. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. You can't break me. How am I missing? Oh, man. Ow, man. The rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Palmer had a lot of men on his trail. A hell of a lot. Ow. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Hey. Stubborn and stupid to realize. They must have thought I was tough. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Watch out for the goddamn gunpowder! One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. I thought I was some kind of hero. made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. Okay, what? I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Come out, you yellow bastard! Okay. Plumber wants that asshole dead.
Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Wow. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Is often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Take that With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. Okay, I probably shouldn't take uh, this. Ow! What the fish? One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a plastic too. Ah, okay, I wanted to say, um, I wanted to shoot the explosive, but apparently someone else did it for me, okay, and apparently I have to run. Du, 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 du. I freely admit my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly in sight. Wow. Okay, that was awesome. It's a good thing that I what? abandoned that ridiculous plan before what? I even tried it. What? How? Instead, I spotted a ladder ah. way into the mine from the opposite side. Okay. Okay. I thought I. <laughs> I. I died. Okay, apparently not. Apparently it, it was part of the story. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Hello. Fast aiming, pick your targets faster. Your speed of aiming 
Your speed of aiming any weapon will be increased by 30%. Yes. Of course, me and I had a problem with heights. That scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. Uh, really? Okay. Show anymore. I was oh. determined not to give up. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. First, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Do I really have a choice? No, no, what? I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. Oh. Yeah. was a mad dog killer, and the people oh. of Nevada City deserved better. I'm stupid. You can't beat the innocent! Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Oh, is this an arena? Oh, oh man. Outlaw Skelleway Henry Plummer. Apparently, I have to shoot dynamite. They're gonna bury you. Well, in a million states, it's just getting worse and worse for you. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was gonna take some doing. Apparently, I can't shoot at people while they, while they are running. Ow. Ow. Show yourself. Oh. 
That's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Can I at least see the amount of money I get? Continue. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin, so that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. John Wesley Hardin, episode four. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Silas claims that he took up bounty hunting as way to finance the pursuit of his remaining query, Roscoe Bob Wyatt. Be quick or be dead. The rifle is a very powerful weapon when you are engaged in a long range shootout. I don't. Now, let's I dodged death right many from. a time. And that night in Abilene was no good. Hey, I shot? Oh. Wait. Did I press F instead of E? Oops. I, I think I misclicked. Wait a second. What is it? I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wisdom. Ah. I like the new gun. Uh, I thought the Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they want you to believe. It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night okay. as I fought my way past his Too loyal compadres. Silas, too much the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Oh. Bull's head, okay. How oh, lovely. Why am I not? No. Quick shooter. 
my life. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Pardon was waiting for me. No! I wanted to take the... collectible. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. He was a bona fide folk hero by then and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Clemo, uh, if you ask me if I can shoot a cow, or what happens, uh, <laughs> sorry, but I, I won't try it. Shit, it's cold out here. Freeze my giblets on. Meanwhile, we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't nobody stupid enough to go after Hardin anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. Damn it! Shoot that son of a bitch! They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun hands. That was easier said than done, okay. as most of them were as foolish and full of bravado as I was. You are shooting a little bit too fast. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that home. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Harden's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their head they of my unwelcomed presence. Let the boys know we got another law dog. Wait. Another nugget. Firework. Fireworks display and do some damage as well. After you throw a stick of dynamite, you can easily shoot it from the hip as the crosser of your gun will get sticky to it. Just press mouse click to de detonate it mid air. Okay. Headhunter, more concentration for headshots. Make some headshots to increase your focus. For each headshot delivered, you will receive 50% more concentration. Oh, I like that. How am I even hitting? Uh, hitting the chambers while I'm loading. Another shotgun. was among them. That's that, so 
that's okay then. Hello, can I please? <coughs> or maybe not, okay. And I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. I could test my metal against Harden, however. I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. Nice. Nice. I didn't learn until later that that night was, in fact, his birthday celebration. that I found Hardin in this very saloon. Just, oh. Oh. to say nobody there was happy to see me. Uh -oh. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. You better hide. Brother, I'm gonna make you pay for that. I was disappointed that neither Bob okay. nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. Oh, mysterious epic entrance. First kill, uh, first kill at 15. Kill the man for snoring. Fold him off for breathing. John Wesley Harden. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Oh, 
Phelps. No, wait. He didn't hit me then. I'm sure of it. I forgot to click. <laughs> I forgot to click. A and D to dodge, press space to continue. Power get ouch. Yes, sorry. Okay. No! Okay. I have to hold the button. Okay, I have to hold the button. Not just press the button to dodge, but hold it. Okay, now I know. It's not like uh, 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 in the rest of the game. Okay. Okay, okay, I am learning. Come on. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting the hang out of it. Is that really the way how business gets handled over there in America? Or the USA? Wow. Okay, he is very slow at dodging. I think it makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. now. <sighs> oh, wait. Wait, he didn't hit me then. I'm sure of it. What? Wait a second. What? Okay, okay. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Yes, literally. Well, that was fear. Okay. He was well known for his tricks, and I knew yeah. I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Sorry about that. No. Concentration. Oh, come on! Okay, okay. Ah. Please or something. Damn it! Okay. Can't be so difficult. Faster 
didn't grease lightning. Oh. But being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. Okay. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ah. Ben? That guy, okay, okay. Oh, finally, so I just had to dodge correctly. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Skills, do I have a level up? No, I don't. That was fun. Pew, pew. Thank you, darling. Pew, pew. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know. Do you ever go toe to toe with a red man? Episode five, Grave Wolf. Oh. Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. Silas Greaves pursued dangerous outlaws like John Weasley Hart in hoping they would help lead him to quiet. Dances with renegades. Unlock the equipo skill in order to dual wield handguns. Uh, why? A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Okay. A long time ago on a mountain far, 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 far. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. From the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. It's a witch shot. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. I am hunting Geralt, apparently. my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea but now that the shooting has started there was no backing down
It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokawas, and that's why they had retreated there. some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. What now? None can hide. Hints about enemies behind you. Spot enemies even beyond your field of view. During concentration, markers on the edge of the screen will point at every nearby enemy that you would not normally be able to see. Good idea. Hmm. Oh. Execution execute nearby enemies. Hmm. Use some headshots without even aiming. Pressing and holding Q will eat up all your concentration in exchange for ma marking nearby enemies for execution with perfect headshots. The more concentration you sacrifice, the more of them will die. Okay. Let's go this way. A deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you're in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit, as they had torches on the walls. Okay, which way? Oh. 
Rappel schon auf. Okay. Okay. Was his cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hid out there during the Indian Wars. with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? Yeah. To be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. Makes sense. Sorry, I messed up. I'm so sorry, I messed up. so much about engines a few years back i was married to two mescalero women at the same time yeah they were sisters polygyny is traditional among the mescalero so what happened oh i had to get out of there those girls never shut up both of them nagging at me all the time drove me half crazy I haven't seen them since no i mean what happened with gray wolf oh well i pursued him into the cave of death Silas Queeves and the Cave of Death. Ooh, it's stuck here. Ah. <laughs> Done. Right edge, whoever we can. Oh! I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows, and I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. 
as his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior. Something like that. Snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there were definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. see any way out of this trap but suddenly one just appeared kind of like a mirror okay by the way what was he talking about i was focusing myself on shooting the enemies something about maybe spiritual ascension or something I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, no. overlooking the thundering white water. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. Why am I messing that up so much? Why? Chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three of them. Well, more than that, little lady. Oh, devil up. And then... Okay. Is there a weapon unlocked? Golden rifle. Hello. Without even aiming, pressing and holding, you will need up all your concentration exchange. Holding! Ah, I have to hold the button. I had a steep climb up Where creek is? ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. I have 12 shots now. Wouldn't you know it? That crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. Uh -huh. Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches surrounding me. A hundred? Oh. God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come 
on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. Oh, that's so good. Yes, it's awesome. It's like... Well... Ratatatata and stuff. Okay, you know what? Um, I don't know if I want to do... Dynamite? I don't know what, why not? Let's finish this one up and then start maybe with two guns. It was two guns and auto aim seems to be awesome. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Okay. And he's gone. Success. Never did find him. <laughs> and never did collect my goddamn bounty. Oh. Oh, 4 to 4. Nice. Accuracy C 60%. Well, sorry, but. Okay, yes. If I aim a few millimeters to the left or right, apparently I won't hit. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. It's like playing VR games. Thank with, you, darling. With, with it's guns. interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Malleable. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not. Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Episode 6, the Delton Brothers. Oh, I heard of them. I think. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who oh. took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right. I did my best, sir. We all did. Grey Wolf, the Apache medicine man, offers Silas a mysterious warning, cautioning him not to follow the poison of bitterness and hate. Okay. Use dynamite against enemies, hiding behind obstacles, and the last trust to kill them, as well as these get them out of the hiding place. Oh! If you try to shoot dynamite in mid air, you will feel the water this point and have a chance to deal additional damage to enemies. Oh no! Good to know. They call me Bounty Hunter. Some enemies are more resistant than others and have a life bar. They call me Bounty Hunter. Boba Fett, the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Okay. Shoot him, Danger. Ah. The story was Bob Dalton's girl was always riding him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coffeville just to shut her up. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. 
before they could get away. Half the town took up arms to defend their property. Their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn hometown. The boys grew up in Coffeeville, so everybody knew them. The bank teller tricked them, telling them the time lock on the safe wouldn't open till 9.30. Well, that gave the locals enough time to prepare an ambush for those sons of bitches. These Twitch don't help me for too much uh, cursing, thank you. I am also, I, I swear. Now where am I supposed to go? Is that the bank? Ah. Huh. You got us an ear. What's the ball to? Okay. And target the somewhere nearby. Maybe around the house. Maybe next room. Huh? Wow. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. Oh, so, 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 I read all about that day, so yeah. I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Okay. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of it's U.S. High. deputy marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. I want to make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months. But now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just got to win this. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. America! Bum, bum. He went oh, wow. in there okay, alone Santa. to confront okay. those criminals. Sad One boss. of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are that you crazy? Nice hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Okay. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Where is... From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. Oh, no, it was there. Great well, great well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> well, well, well. What do we have here? That will be this, bad man. <laughs> ah, fun. Oh, sorry. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. Funny <laughs> man. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Bravo 6 going down. We've got company. Heroic men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. 
Yeehaw! Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett who died defending the Alamo. Free America, baby. Wait. Ah. Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! I like that I can shoot quick, but I don't like the damage of this gun, which makes no sense. Yeehaw, baby. Headshot, first try. Yeehaw. Nuggets, where? Where is the nuggets? Where? 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 Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Oh. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. Okay. It was early evening, not high noon. Not high noon. It's high No. It's 24 hours. I was late to the party, and what? Coffeeville was already up in arms. Dalton's blew up a safe, and we're all it's set to hightail it out of there. It's past midday. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Oh. Federal Bank! The leaders, the lovers, the losers, the Delton brothers. Bob, Emmett, and Gratt. I've been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. I did my... Finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same okay. time in the same town where everybody knew. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Okay, you know what? I'm serious. What are you gonna do? Okay. I 
caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than that. Did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Come on! Did the Daltons hold up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, as those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses were related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. I would like to change the pistol. Or maybe keep it for now. That's it for you. Dong. 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 Ah, it's that house again. Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plan me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Determined to protect his brothers. And I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by Ow. his lonesome wasn't Ow. exactly a recipe for a long life. Ow. I'm gonna plant you where you stand. Ow. No. I'm gonna cut you in half. Goodbye. Uh, oh, I'm gonna Goodbye. tear you apart. Uh oh. Ah. Uh oh. 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 Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Okay. 23 shots. But I have to admit, that boy had grit. 23 shots into the head, I see. Level up? Yes. <laughs> yes. We hope we were a great stranger. I will handle the shoot. Accuracy 57%. I'm getting worse and worse. Let's continue. Over the years, Silas Greaves became a famous bounty hunter. His main ambition, however, was to get his revenge on Bob Wyatt. Bounty hunter is still my name. Hunter. Oh, 
My name is Hunter. Bounty Hunter. We'll get those suckers! It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. Somewhere in the suit. They can't get away with this! Sometime after and in that time, a whole me. posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track them to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. Foggy. It was tough to stay on a true course. So we kept an eye out for landmarks. Is it you? Teenage mutant 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 the maple trees were in full color, red as blood. Okay. Okay. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Okay. Ah, yeah, Reif is for long range dual wheel for close range. Oh, that's a smart idea. I, I just thought about. Uh, just, just using uh, two, two pistols for showing off revolvers. Good sword, Parroquet. Oh, shy. Good idea. Ah, I can just roll down and then roll up. I don't have to press the button, okay? Take a button. No! Oh, except for some son of bitches ahead of me wanting ah. So I had to face him alone. Ow. What the hell was that just now? I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. That was just awful. Oh my god. Ow. It's you and Wow. Emo? 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 So did you find the Daltons? Not yet, but I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. That was fast to be loaded. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. You cannot get out of my uh Oh. Oh, 
Enforcements was nowhere to be seen. Point B and I was under serious attack. Uh, Ow. Boy, you little. Kill Greaves! Uh. Ah. Oh. No, you are not getting away. Scrambled up top to get a better view. But we just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn like doors was jump. open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Goddamn right. Steve? So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Okay. Oh. He's sleeping. No, 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 I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Of course. Indians surrounded me from all sides. What? What? Indians? There were Indians. No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Hello. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, so, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Why are there so many gunpowder barrels? Bounty hunters! 
So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, okay. but I did find a few of their cousins. Kansas breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who Ow. knows what. Ow! Ow. Ow. But hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what oh. I'm talking about. You lost something. Somewhere. Okay. Standing together against anyone who would threaten them. when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. 
a steamboat in a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from our house. And those vigilantes who would come to me weren't oh, well. anywhere to be found. Ah. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Oh, Zah. <laughs> Apparently, those were my little volunteers. Can I have the Gatling? No. Can I have the Gatling? Like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I okay. am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn in hell. Sorry, sorry. Uh, dynamite, yes, why, why not? More dynamite. Much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally oh, had them, after months of dogged pursuit. Wait, how did he get up here? out that they had me. Take him I out! Knew it. I'm sending you to hell! It was a trap. The dog had played me shot, like shot, a fit. Apparently the vigilantes were oh. on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. 
They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth yes, the door didn't uh, really be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Oh, oh yeah, but I was in Did a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? The largest one in the world? Um, uh, well, I'm talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to... What are you talking about? I'm dying here! So anyway... Don't be stupid, uh -oh. Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsent. Oh, God. But Titanic. getting back to that steamboat, how do you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to yeah. finally disembark. It was time to settle this once and for all. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes! Yes, paper! Oh yes! Oh my god! Hava Banga, Matanovas. Bob and Grad weren't about to come at me one at a time. They were in this no. together. No, that's it. No! Two brothers side by side oh. determined oh. to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Okay. Okay. Got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. Accuracy 43%, it's getting worse and worse. Okay, wow! Oh, it was short-lived, but it was awesome. The Gatling was healed. Was magnificent. Oh, ta -ta 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 -ta. oh, oh, oh. I like, I, I, I enjoyed the sound design very much. Continue. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. Oh. Episode 7, The Wild Bunch, Juarez, 1868. Okay, that is a little bit special. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. Oh. So it's a story of revenge or redemption. Oh. Uh, led by Bunch, Cassidy and the Sundance 
and the sudden skits the wild bunch was the best la 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 last something. The fastest contemporary gunslingers can draw and shoot the weapons in under half a second. Not so great train robbery. Before the Intercontinental Railway, Railway was completed, Stagecoach was the only way to travel across the country. The ride from Missouri to California took three weeks, days, and in 1857 Henry Plummer shot and killed John Wetter. He had been having an affair with Wetter's wife. Okay. If a stick of dynamite drops at your feet, you can throw it back, but only if you unlocked the corresponding skill earlier. Wow. Okay, headshots are always the highest scores, kills and will charge for the twice the master. Uh, Call of Juarez Redemption. Bam 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 I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Oh, it's me. Led by Butch Cassidy. They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. Huh. I hear danger. They blew the bridge oh. with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger uh -oh. cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. Who's that son of a bitch? From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. No, I'm not a pickup. First, I would need to get my ass out of there. Uh, well? It was a bird. Oh, hello, horse. I want to try something. I like to try. Okay. Understandable, have a nice day. Wait, how was the train supposed to stop? It is such a narrow and, and short road after the tunnel. I mean, how was the train supposed to react? in time to prevent that or maybe they came from the other side hello from the other okay finally hop 
jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixed to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Uh, let's try Double Ranger. <laughs> Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my friend. Now that is stopping power. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Oh. Hello. Want to try that longer? Compost, don't stop your killing fancy so soon. Your combo meter will stay active for 50% longer. Better chaining and longer compost mean more experience. Pocket scan thing and revolver ammo capacity increase. Carry even more of these deadly revolver bullets. You receive plus 100% capacity for revolver ammo. Yes. Howdy, cowboy. Count me. Right. Uh, uh, uh. You. Too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many wow. of those bastards as I could. Shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Oh. Okay. Nothing left except two heads. Hello. Hello, my darling. Hello, the darling. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in, guns a blazing to help? Uh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two rivers, two jet cars, two carry hair. Let's see, like, curry, watch, get it, can't proceed with a survival bunch. Okay. Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. Oh. As usual. Who the hell is that? Okay. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, okay. He's killing everybody! 
everybody! Hell to come! They'll kill us all! Maybe I should spice dynamite. didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Oh, money. Is it money? Money. Only a few stragglers oh, were left. I had yes. to come down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail. <laughs> I'm the better <laughs> I got an achievement, I don't know which one. Once I silenced wow. all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the nice. only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. That was awesome. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid oh. decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. Epic. They ended oh. up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. What did for sense? Ah, I got better. So now, once I run red out while sprinting, don't lose any chance to reload your weapon, you won't have to stop running just to reload it. You don't have to stop reloading when you decide to run. Nice, concentrated from the compass. Once in a fast revolver reloads, reload your revolvers in the peak of nine. You will be able to load bullets into your revolver's cylinder while it's spinning, which means 50% faster. Wow. Time proof agility and concentration will be as great as creased lightning. You will be able to move and run 50% faster than you in concentration. More, more compost then, reload speed and then the rest. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Bam, 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 bam. Silas Greaves claims that his relentless pursuit of Bob Bryan forced the leaders of the Wild Bunch to flee to South America. Sense of death may be used only after the Gauk has fully recharged. 130 to hell. Okay. Okay. Bom, I tried bom, to find bom, Bob Bryan, bom, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Bom. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail. Because okay, I was still awesome. in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. I can just crawl up while having the rifle. Nice. That 
Kid Curry's kinda crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Ow. Shit for you! Damn it! Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however. Plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. Nature, of course. Nature, nature is awesome. Okay. with their bold plan clearly marked. This time, they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. Okay. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Morning, of Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Oh. Though some say it was only five. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. Fat Sally, huh? The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Ah, yes, I was just going to ask, should I like this arm? And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped Don't my attention. Up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Who said that? did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always oh. desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. Next. Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there.
sentenced for judge or something like that. Something epic. You ain't seen the max. So what happened then? Okay. I had to remove more of that damn dynamite. Ah, I forgot the dynamite, right? It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Oh, it did? Wait. You should mention that, darling. As actually, there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. <laughs> I cut you in two. Nice. Dynamite for the. Proceeded onward. I realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Uh, how do I get up there? Ah, maybe from here. Shortcut. Sort of. Nothing. Wait a second. Ah, here. Trade carefully. What? Otherwise, I could well die. What was that? Wow! They got the. I hope you understand how badly what? my adventure might have ended had I not been as careful as hell. Why are you not jumping? Is it the wrong way? Ah. 
Ah, lol, I have to use that way. Oh, okay. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. Another charge? Something. It was a long, oh. burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. Oh. I had to catch it. Fuse was so damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no. Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Oh. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. Now I have to use this. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. It's truly amazing Why? I've made it this far in life, considering how many times I've danced with death. Why? Why did I die? A jump, boy. Just jump. Okay. God damn it. How he part now? Just jump. Yes, now jump, please. Thank you. I want to mention, I do have expect, uh, respect for elderly. Finally, I found them, boys. Or more precisely, they found me. I want to mention, I do have respect for elderly people. As soon as they respect me, uh, what was the word? Neutrally enough to. I come here to death with the parent snapper. Me, kill that no, idiot you. in a damn fruit. Oh. No, Wait, I got some sick. Ah. Nice. Now nah, get off my lawn, you dirty bastard. Oh, level up. Uh, fast revolver reload? Yes. Yes, sir. Now. Wow. Wow. I am speed. They call me lightning. And the neighbor is smoking again. Where did he come from? Aha! So maybe two pistols. Yes, two pistols. Just Good. when I thought things couldn't get worse. Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. Uh -oh. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Oh. Oh. Kid 
Curry. I like Curry. Yeah, you know you can't beat me. Ah, wait. Ow. That was unexpected, my bad. I deserve to die. Get out of here! Ah! ah. Okay, no more cover. This is the last mistake you'll ever make! Point. It's not fair! <laughs> Okay. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. I almost killed myself. <laughs> Show yourself, you coward! Oh. What the hell happened to the chat? It moved back up on its own. Ah. Chat is okay. Could be good if you had some grenades. Oh dear. I have dynamite. Ow. Decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Was it him? No. Oh. 
Pam 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 I was just a bit ba, ba, faster. Ba, 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 ba. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Uh, wow. 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 Okay. Those were his last words. Quick fingers here. I just had uh, uh, put my I just put my fingers off the, off the keyboard. Oh, good thing I wasn't tweaking anything. Oh, okay. Remember, kids, if you play games, always be prepared to uh, finger your keyboard. Okay, skills. Oh, okay, that was unexpected. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Episode 8, Jesse James. Oh, I know that name, I think. Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Oh. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. Wow. According to Silas, another of his brother's murderers robbed trains with Jesse James. Death rides a steel stallion. Don't climb a ladder with enemies nearby, you will make for an easy target. Makes sense. I confronted them as they were robbing a train. Bullets were flying at me from every which way. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was going to find this gym. So, is here something? Weapons, metal, dynamite. Aha, I What do we have here? Sword of shotguns. And shotguns? Yeah. American stuff seconds. What's here? Pain. Yes. Uh oh. Right. Ah. Oh. Oh, pretty. Hello, your tickets, please. You can run! You can run forever! Someone alive? Now 
wait a second. Now, how'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. Oh. Okay. Legend was. He could stop the train by staring it down. Jesse James. They hopped a freight train having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So I hopped the same train. No! I misclicked! I misclicked! Ah, Scheiben. The James I Younger misclicked. gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. Pumpkins. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. A bullet in his head. On that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that. The James Younger gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? It's all bandits. I have the high ground. Thank you for it. the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an okay. urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, <laughs> I've had more than a few drinks and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. Okay. Toilet break. Okay. so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. Okay. Interesting. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe it. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. Oh. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the ball. You seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Huh. Well, that's better. Come back. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around okay. the sides, over the roof. Get out here! Okay. Uh, 
some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, "It's a damn pinker!" It's a damn pinker! Now I never Get worked for that lightning cocksucker, but I guess they hey. assumed I was one of his assassins. No swearing. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? I can't right see. No, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember it. Quite precarious. Wait a second, wait a second. Come out, you yellow bastard! Oh, wait a second. I don't want to miss it. Ah, it was here. This asshole ah. okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Across the flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Oh. Interesting, can I? I wondered if I was ever gonna find the front of that train. Or the oh. bastard I was after. Jesse hired a damn army after Northfield. Guess he didn't want to be outgunned like that ever again. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Oh. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of that. Asshole? Oh. Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Oh, I now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Well, I'll oh. find dynamite. Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. No, I 
I, I want to keep it. This asshole don't know who he's up against. Violence against boxes. Making time of the grid. Concentration. Let's let's dead. Looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. <laughs> Determined to die that day. Detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. Oh, no. Wow. I could see Jesse waiting for me. Wow. He to kill me so he could get away with all ah, that money. I can see him. Hello, Jesse. You had a showdown with oh. Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. 21% accuracy, oh, come on. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes, plot twist. There is no engineer or train driver. 
Let's continue. Jesse James was murdered in 1882 by Robert Ford and the survivors of his gang rallied around his less well-known brother, Frank. Sense of death won't save you from a deadly Gatling gun bullet. Ooh. Well, technically, what? Even with the concentration not fully charged, but it's clear, yada yada. Uh, technically, a Gatling gun bullet isn't much different than a 45 cold, cold bullet. You know what I mean? Without forgiveness. Let's go. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch, Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide Ozark out from mountains. the authorities. Ozark Mountains, territory sometime after the train. Probably, probably. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I saw you. I saw you too. Another whiskey, Ben. Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Okay. <sighs> Is that the kettle? No, it's a fire pit. Oh, the kettle. Not the kettle. Now where was I? Indian tribe. I had more than my share of run-ins with the Redmen. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Oh. Of course I did. In fact, I could still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. Mark. You will come to this place again. Oh, am I not men. hitting him? Oh my god! Thank you! Sweet Jesus! Oh, 
What is with the chat? Why is the chat? Ah, sorry. So, the chat, okay. Sorry, the chat is... kind of playing strangely. Ow! And the darkness will grow. Until it consumes everything you are. you something, Ben? You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, making time improve the ability and concentration be quick and squeeze. Nice. Nice. Grave Drager. Death, baby. No ammunition. I cannot sprint. Okay, is that supposed to happen? Won't you spare ah. me over to another year? What is this that I can't see with eyes cold and hands taking hold, hold of me? Of me. Well, I, I am dead. dead. None no can, can excel. excel. I'll, I'll open the door, the door to, to heaven, heaven or hell. Oh, yes. Someone was afraid. Could, Could you wait, wait to call me So, are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance. But nothing was gonna stop me. Nothing. Okay, Frank James. Ah, I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. I didn't saw any scope on him or on his rifle. But okay. Where are... Ah! 
And Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Great stranger, yes. Hello, beauty. Hello, my darling. Hello, my beauty. Da -da 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 -da. Do I have to jump? I do. Ah, the hop, Geronimo. <sighs> I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Lady Dwight, justice. Ow. Okay. Isn't that why you were hunting the James gang? No. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. Oh, it was a pitched that. battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. Okay. We got us a Brady cat. Tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still wow. in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? Okay, wow. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm done with this damnable outlaw life. Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will. At this point, I just don't give a shit. I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. 
We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Yeah. He didn't point. Okay. What happens if I if I shoot? Should I? Doesn't. Okay. So what happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts, as I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. Why won't this asshole die? Why won't you die? Behind this mask, there is more than flesh. Behind this mask, there is a 3 db 2 idea. That's why I am. Okay, that's why I am bringing grenades to a gunfight. Rather than wander in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, or, Reed! I shouted. Or guns. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy what? being married to Bell Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Damn, Son of a bitch! Bro. Uh, damn, bro. You roasted him. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Will someone please kill him? Oh. Just me and Reed. Nice. And another showdown. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Django. Don, 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 bom, bom. Oh, Django. Success. Success. Yes. Just said, cold rage. Remove damage in concentration. Just focus to do even more damage. All your bullets shot in concentration will inflict plus 50% damage. Oh, you got more concentration in the bar. If you use more focus, concentration will last for 50% plus 50 longer when you use it. The bar will dissipate at a slower rate. And we supply dynamite, dynamite loot. See if your enemies carry any explosives or prizes in their pockets. You have a 10% chance of finding a stick of dynamite on any dead enemies. Well, you get that as well. Not that in your killing frenzy after fourth level combo, your bullets will inflict plus 100% more damage. Wow! Readiness. The loaded gun's concentration. Just focus to. Wow. 
Wow. I'll go this way next. Level 20 already? Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Back to episode 7, the Wild Bunch, okay. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Silas quickly took revenge on Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed, but Roscoe Bob Bryant eluded his grasp for years. Minds are a trick. Oh yeah. The good, the bad, and the dead. Django! Okay. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Now we are demon hunters. Okay. Oh! Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one, Roscoe Bob Bryant. That some bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all this. By now, he had to be close to seven. For all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. Wow. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends, no purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. Okay. from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Like me. Okay. 
Time to speak our Lord and Savior. Aren't Jesus? Uh. But I wasn't about to call it quits. And my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. Mm, a ghost town, I see. Uh, up there or to the left? To the left. Nothing here, okay. Now I am getting Resident Evil vibes. Or Hunt Showdown vibes a little bit. to fill that grave with Bob Ryan's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here, Tim. Oh, actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Okay. Because when I woke up. Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I swear to God, I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. What? Okay. Touched in the head. Mr. Graves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a blazing. I knew that old war horse had died two what? years before. 
But I Why? knew that old war horse had died two years before. I, I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt okay. me and, and drag me down to perdition. Ghosts are shooting at me. Ah, yes. Of course. Plumber throw dynamite at me. Ow. of the cemetery okay. I saw John Wesley Harden just like I remembered him Appeared with his uh -oh. terrible double barrel shotgun. Oh. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father in law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. About sex. Okay, okay. Sure. What the hell? Newman Hayes Clanton, William Broach, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Ow. of the Garden of the Dead. Okay. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance wow. from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought. Ah, ow. Ah, ow. Ugh. 
Is this a boss fight situation or something? Finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid. Like a general leading his legion of the dead. You see him alive. He was alive. Parker, aka Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. Okay. Oh. Butch Cassidy. Sundance Kids. Silent Queen, the good, the bad, and the dead. Ooh. Okay, what is happening now? Oh! But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. It takes more than one the little Mexican. bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Something. Those two look like they hadn't seen each other showdown. for quite a while. The Mexican showdown. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. See, okay. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. Won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked them about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Oh, in a, yes, standoff, not showdown. In a Mexican standoff, you screw and to switch your focus to the enemy who is looking at you. Press space to continue. How much am I supposed to concentrate myself? <laughs> okay, okay, that is something interesting. Now I have to uh, con concentrate on more than two things. Oh wow! Okay, 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 okay. Both of them and dodge both of them. Okay. Oh, 
Butch Cassidy and the Sundance oh. Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Okay, I got it. Epic. Success. Because he fought the Okay. Ugh. Level up. I am in touch of cold blood and more concentration in the bar. Even more focus, concentration. Conscience. Clap. Concentration will last for plus 50 percent longer when you use it. The bar will dissipate at a slower rate. Nice. Bam, 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 down, bam. Loading. Oh, finally! Grey Wolf, the Apache medicine man, offers Silas a mysterious warning, cautioning him not to follow the poison of bitterness and hate. Was the story of Silas grief true? Wait, what? If, if, Finally? Final? What? Led by Bunch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids, the Wild Bunch was the West's last famous outlaw gang. Silas Greaves arrived in Abilene in 1910, claiming he had written with Billy the Kid as a younger, as a younger man. Silas quickly took revenge on Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed, but Roscoe, Bob, Bryant eluded his quest for years. Over the years, Silas Greaves became a famous bounty hunter. His main ambition, however, was to get his revenge on Bob Bryant. The true reason behind Silas' pursuit of the Cowboys wasn't money, but for revenge on one of his arc enemies, Johnny Ringo. The Cowboys were a huge outlaw gang, led by old man Clayton. Curly Bill and Johnny Ringo were two of his most deadly pistoliers. Jesse James was murdered in 1882 by Robert Ford and the survivors of his gang rallied around his less well-known brother Frank. Silas Kreef pursued dangerous outlaws like, like John Wiss, Weasley Hardin, hoping they would help lead him to Bryant. After stinking springs, Billy the Kid and Silas Kreef ended up in jail. They remained there until the spring. Okay, random facts. Uh, wait, a second finale? Okay, is that the end of the game already? Okay. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Grease. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh, man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? <gasps> Your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my... Oh, okay. Choose your destiny. Um, oh, 
Okay. Um, people of the internet and my dear chat links. Uh, what should I choose? Revenge or Redemption? If there is still someone watching. Flip a coin? Oh, good idea. I have many coins here. Uh, okay, so I would say uh, number is revenge. Uh, Eagle America bom, bom. Uh, is redemption. Now, how do I catch the coin at my table? Wait, can I catch it maybe somehow? Wait. Ah, hands. Ooh, I got eagle. Wait, no, that's redemption. Wait, that's okay. Let's go with redemption. Six hours and that is already the end of the game. Okay, redemption. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what Sus. kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See. All those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. Oh. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm, uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Said I left you with nothing, Bob. Okay. Wow, epic. Call of Horus, Gunslinger. Oh my god, what? Wait, that's it? <laughs> Wait, what? Won't you spare me over to another year? Ah, that was cool. Oh my god, that was epic. Oh, okay, what would Is the USA really so epic? On the other side of the ocean? <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Wow, okay. Wow. Okay, wow. wow. Oh, okay, wow. Best one of the best games I have ever played. And maybe the fastest. I don't want uh, to call, I don't want to call the game short because there was definitely a lot of work put into it. Wow! And for s only six hours, I I spent more hours while optimizing and searching for the assets for my avatar. Or or, or what? <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, okay, sure. Uh, Wow, I I enjoyed the, the type of genre where you play along the story uh, as as a story tale. Wow. Okay, I 
didn't plan to finish the game in one go, in one session. I am surprised. Okay. Okay, you know what? Uh, don't leave yet. Um, okay, that was awesome. Wow, epic and awesome. I like that. Um, Let's choose after after the uh, after the text. Let's choose the revenge option, okay? Or maybe I'll just ask. Uh, should I? Should I uh, let the text go, or or should I skip the? The end screen. Wow. This was maybe the first game ever which I which I finished on my Twitch channel. Sure, let's see the other option. Okay. Uh wait. Uh, I know you can't see but there. Uh, behind my head there is the uh, uh, option escape and continue. Button escape. Oh, new modes available. New game plus is new game plus is now available. Start start a new journey retaining all the unlocked skills and weapons. True West difficulty level is now available. Try going through the story without with minimal hard and extra difficulty to get the real Western experience. Okay. Wow. Okay. Story. Okay. Plus. What happens if I press continue? I don't know about okay, you boys, okay, but okay, I'm okay, pretty okay, okay. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. It seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's oh, what no. I'm saying. It's the ghost mission again. Uh-oh. No! Can I skip it? Can I skip the mission? I want to skip the mission, please. Uh, okay, apparently, apparently I can't. He starts mission. Have I? Wait, wait, may, wait, maybe, 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 maybe I can choose the missions. Arcade. What is that? Okay, I guess there is still more content. Dual challenge, okay. Uh, Welcome to the dual challenge. That's not the right thing. When, when in a series of showdowns, honorably and quickly to become a true legend of the Wild West, you have five lives to try it again just in case you get shot along the way. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid we have to play the last mission again. Okay. It seems like that. Okay. Uh, let's finish it quickly again. Hello.
there, here I am. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my Speed brother's killers. Scope. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Both Johnny Ow. Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one... Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. With others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that Wait. chapter of my story you already know. How? How am I supposed to get every collectible if I cannot try the mission again? Chapter the of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. Here I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling apart. Just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. But you obviously prevailed since you sent me to tell us the day. Actually, in that moment, I did not prepare. So I suppose oh, we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I swear to God, I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns ablazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me.
gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hardin, just like I remembered him. Ollinger appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father in law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. of the Garden of the Dead. <laughs> George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought. Saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid. Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. He told us before you see a lie. He was alive. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. 
Why am I dying now so often? Ah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't just walk around the gravestones here. No. Ah. Ah, yeah, I was here. Oh, where are you? Ow! Call yes. to me from afar. It was Butch. Robert Leroy Parker, aka yeah, they, Butch Cassidy, oh. yeah, coming yeah, at yeah, me yeah, from yeah. out of the fog. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. Let's go to the duel. But the kid wasn't mm -hmm. quite deceased. Not yet. It takes more than one little bullet oh, okay. to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. It is mine. So is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Okay, here we go again. Instead of E, I pressed R. Okay. One moment, I can't read what you are saying. Wait. Thank you. 
Oh. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died oh. there in that cemetery oh. not six months ago. Oh. Success, thank you. Okay. Continue. Now, the other choice. Enter. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Grease. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, <gasps> dun, your dun, past dun, dun. always catches up with you. I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I, I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Now let's try revenge. Are you ready? I am. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Okay. Holy shit! Oh my god, a duel! Oh, without huts, okay. Can I die here and fail the game? I don't know how fast I am. Oh my god! Oh, oh my Jesus. god! Wow. Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You look a mite shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in something like this. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir, huh, Mr. Greaves. So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? As I have sold my soul for it, and will never again walk for those I have lost. Wow! Even that was epic. Oh my god. I feel so badass. Boy. Okay, wow. Won't you spare me over to another year? Wow. Applaud. I'm applauding. Wow. That was a little bit like an interactive movie. You know? Similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. Which I maybe could stream to by the Nonetheless, both games are awesome. And holy moly. Wow. My 
mean, yes, sure, there was maybe not a horse to ride on, but good cowboy games or movies maybe don't even need that. I mean, it's the story in the end that makes it uh, worth something, and the gameplay, of course, and the art and all that other stuff. And oh boy. Basically, yeah, I guess that's it. I finished my first game with you, Chantlings, together. I think you can feel hot or not. Uh, yes, that was Call of Roar, that's ganz yeah, Well, that was definitely a good story. Yes. I agree. Especially the good ending, I think that was very philosophical, I, I, I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, yes, that was Call of Juarez Gunslinger. If you want to play it yourself, um, I bought it on Steam. Um, it, as much as I know, it is the last game of the Call of Juarez Gunslinger series. Uh, there are other games before it, but this game is a little bit special as much as I know, and I didn't expect it to finish in six hours. Hmm. So yeah, if you want to try it, uh, it is available on Steam. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, if you have a computer with a process processor with more than 10 cores, uh, I would advise you to uh, turn every every core after after the tenth one uh, to turn it off. If you know what I mean, I found. Uh, I found the information how to solve the problem with the game not starting uh, on the internet. It is a Steam, uh, Steam, Steam. Not, not tutorial. Not uh, ah, what is the word? Docu not documentary. Um, There are men who fear legends. Someone throws the information to Steam. Just Google. Oh, music. Bullets, we I got a snake in my boots. Bullets make good rain. When the um, heartache has dried uh, up. Yeah, just, Only just, if you have problems, uh, just Google. Uh, call of Ruhr, Steam, Call of Ruhr, and Old Star. And then you should find it very easy. I guess if the, if the chantings want someday, one day later in the future, uh, we can return to the game and maybe play arcade or the pool, the pool mode. There's no time to cry. There's a time for even and a time to just pray. So yeah, what are your given? Well yes, it's, it's a good story, but what what are your other thoughts? Did you like it? Would you maybe pray. even play it yourself? It's a time you must are there maybe similar games to this one you may could That's the time you must uh, uh, recommend me? Or others, maybe, you know, maybe a little bit chatting time for maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes, you know. Did I hear a little bit better low music in the background? No, it was just the guitar. Okay, wow. Ubisoft USA. I think this game appeared in 2013. Ooh, dear. 
Wow. I, I like it a lot. Special thanks. Thank you to all you bit of the Techland teams for their support and hard work over the course of the project. Oh, Gunslinger Babies. Okay. Nation Plus, Zizak, Mikol, Leich, Nosek, Rachel, Penny. I think those are the children from, from the artists of the, of the pictures. Double D similar trend was the Dolby. Dolby Tom is okay. Wow. Well, that was it. That was Call of Juarez Gunslinger. It was very epic. Wow, okay. So... If there's nothing more to say from your side, I would say thank you for watching, thank you for joining me on my stream. That was Call of War as Gunslinger. Um, I'm repeating the name too often, I think. Uh, next game, Friday, our third game on our second topic week, Pew Pew Games. Uh, it will be the iconic game Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I plan to prepare something for my avatar too. Uh, I expect the game to last for at least maybe more than one stream, maybe two, maybe three, I don't know. Um, And by the way, I think Stalker on Friday will be our very first horror game on this channel. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Uh, excuse me again for the inconveniences at the start of the stream. Uh, I just didn't know that I didn't expect such things to happen. But yeah, uh, I am glad that you liked my outfit. I will keep it for future Western themed games like Red Dead Redemption, for example, or something else. Or maybe I will mix stuff. So yeah, I wish you all a wonderful evening morning uh, midday or what the name is uh, or yes maybe good night uh, sleep well wake up well and have a wonderful week I will hope I'll see you back on Friday so yeah if there is nothing more to say, I would say goodbye. Uh, thank you. It, wa it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Jim, maybe for joining me, Playmo Pass and Parocat, and also big thank, big thanks uh, go to. Wait, I I'll have to look up the name again. Uh, thank you. To yeah, yes, Corsi's Toyster. Corsi's Co Corsi's Toyster, maybe. Thank you, Corsi's Toyster, forty-five for becoming my next follower. Um, technically, I am. I, I think that the bar should grow by one follower i don't know why it is still on 14 stuck um, 
maybe it could be that he accidentally subscribed and then unsubscribed after that. Hmm. Or maybe I have more technical difficulties. Issues, I mean. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> so, it's gone. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. It is a lot of fun playing for you, entertaining you. Uh, yeah, I am awaiting Stalker 1 on Friday and goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Let's close the game. Nice. So awesome. Now don't forget to do that and that and goodbye.